so fast. What's up guys we're back of course coming back with some t-bird issues as always last clip took it on a fairly short drive and started smelling rubber and hot coolant i tied the coolant leak back to uh the vent vent cap um, we're gonna do a pressure test to see if this kind of decorative uh seal see if it is actually sealing if not might have to go back to a just a regular wash thinking maybe it got wet the belt started slipping and then just chewed it up because i know, I know it was straight thank the lord there was no tailpipe smoke engine tips stayed good it was just a lot of steam so just a pressure check and some cleaning and a belt change and i think we'll be back on the road so right there from the bypass hose. Yeah, let me get the light now. Yeah, see it. Fast forward a little bit, got the hose off, got the belts loose, hose replaced. They didn't have the exact one, but I got one really close. Kind of messing with a 10 rib pulley. Actually, it came off of a 12 out coming, so had a little bit of a clearance job, but uh, I think it's gonna work. Got the belts on. This is kind of funny. But uh, we've been chasing in a really stupid electrical issue for a really long time. All the interior lights would stay on and we could not figure it out. We were testing door panels and door switches. We were pulling fuses, pulling the harness on the body module. And as it turns out, I screwed the, this fire extinguisher. There's a common ground right here and of all places, that's where I wanted to mount my fire extinguisher. And uh, yeah, now we're good. <laughs> we got that taken care of. Easy fix. What y'all look at this? On a cold start, dude. She's nasty. It's kind of funny because as soon as that tune kicks in, that smooths right out, but if it's nasty on a on a first cold start of the day, okay. like so. <laughs> Alrighty, what we got next? Very nice. Oh yes, it's very nice. Rat's nest number two. Just like that, that's done. Over there we turn this inside out on the sway bar in because it was rubbing my tire. Kind of feeling that way we got it on the lift, so I had to check this as well. This just kind of turned it around backwards and it worked out good. So. Alrighty, we got a new belt, we got a new coolant line. We got a new 10 rib pulley. We got new shocks on the rear end. The electrical issues fixed. The sway bar isn't rubbing the rear tires anymore. Let's see how she rides now. Let's go. She feels stiffer already. Maybe whenever I get old and 
I care about stuff like that, maybe I'll fix it. So, Alright, this will be a really good test. This is a really big downhill right to a really big uphill. So, if it's going to be bouncy, we'll be able to tell right now. It's not bouncy yet.